Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are solving another problem from Lit Code top interview question list and the problem is permutations. So if you see this problem like and dislike ratio, you can get automatically how much important is this problem. So and this problem is get asked in all type of companies. So this problem is very important to solve if you are practicing for the upcoming your interviews. So the problem is like we are given input integer array with all integers is distinct and we need to return all possible permutation and we can return the permutation in any order that doesn't matter. So for example one we are given input array nums which has three integer one to three and we need to return all possible permutation of this. So if we have n number then we will have n factorial permutation for three we will have three factorial permutation that is six. So we will have six different permutation and we are returning in the output. So how to solve this kind of problem? So this kind of problem can be solved easily by the trying to formulate recursive solutions and that nothing but called the backtracking algorithm. So let's start implement like understanding it. So initially we are given like one, two, three. So this is our input array. So what we need to do, we need to first fill the first place of our uh, result like permutation. So if I draw it, so the first place can be filled with the three possible numbers. So we can have three possible first place numbers candidate and we will draw three branches from this. So first we can fill one, then two, then three and the rest let's keep it is as it is. So if we keeping one and two, three like as it is, we are swapping with two. So this is one and three and similarly this will be two and three. So that just we are swapping with this zeroth place. So we will also keep an index initialized from zero. At this place the index is zero and we are filled with zero. So after that when we are calling next the permutation call our index at each level this will become one. One over here, one over here. Now we will try to fill the second place for this call. So for this call for filling second place we can fill like one is already filled. So now we have again two options, two or three. So first we can fill two, then three is as it is. Similarly, we can fill one is already filled, three, then two. So this is now over here, two second place is filled. Again from here we can do again two, one and three. And another we can do this is two, two is already then three and one similarly from here we can then finally we need to fill the third place index over here will become two at each all this is like index in the level so level of our tree so we are kind of now when we fill three we have only one option so we will keep one two three as it is so this is our one permutation and at this place our index becomes three so when our index becomes equals to number of elements, so initially number of element of in our array is n which is 3. So once it becomes that means this is a valid pair of permutation and that we can store in our result. So we can also declare a result that will be list of list of integer and once our index equals to the n then we will fill that into the uh, list of list of integers. So that is the idea behind it and from here also we will get one pair then one pair then one pair. So from total we are terminating this approach in these six places. So that is the idea. Now how to implement in code. So for implementing this code I have already given some idea but let's see what we can do. We will initialize this in the our we will write a backtrack backtrack helper method here we will have a list of list that will hold our result first as a reference we will pass from curly method also we will pass an index that we will initialize from zero from the curly method as well as we will pass our nums this is nums original the input array so once we got and the base condition here we will check if our index if our index is equals to nums dot length, if this is the case, that means we found the permutation. So we will do some processing and store the permutation into the result of it. So here we need to fill the list uh, as a list. So we will first convert this current array and store into the list. Now what we need to do, we will run like for 
starting from int i for int i starting from index current index we will go until the length of our array so nums dot length and we will first call the backtrack method so before that we will fill the place so we are storing in the so here we are uh, keeping this in the integer variable so this is our input original array nums and initially let's say we are 1 2 something 3 so at this place we will swap with this place so whatever place the value of our initial index so we will swap uh, swap this at place like uh, index and the current i once this is done we will call again the method backtrack with the new index so the index plus 1 and after that once we done we will backtrack because we need to try other possible case once we done with either we found the solution or not we will backtrack again so we will swap it back the index and the i same place because initially first we swap we put at uh, the index uh, an integer into the ith index and then we are swapping back so that we will try other possible cases so this is the code idea now you can try to pause the video and implement the code by yourself so here is the code I have already implemented. So this is the code as I initially this is our main method where we are declaring a result list of list as a, a output and we are calling the permute method. So that is nothing but the backtrack method and here we are passing this and index from initializing from 0. Now we are checking if index is nums.length we are creating a list uh, from the array and this is box we are using as we are converting primitive data type into the reference object integral object and then we are storing into the comp creating a copy list and then we are storing back into the list of list in our result variable otherwise we are iterating from index to the length of our array and first swap that index i element with the index element and then backtrack it here so this is the step here we are backtracking back it back now what is the so before that let's try to run the code so this code will run as it is already i have tested so it's working as it is now we can submit the code so let me show you this the submission so it got accepted so it's like running 5 millisecond as i am using the streams so if you use normal convert the normally this array that will improve your run time as I don't know like in using a stream will take more time in a lit code uh, compiler so just uh, we you can also do this nor like with the very basic approach so enter num in nums and store this into the copy list copy list dot add the num once it's done we will store let's submit give a submit again for this so this will be faster than the previous one so this is like you can see 100 percent faster than all the java solution now what is the uh, what is the like time space complexity of this solution time and space complexity so as we saw in the tree in our this uh, permutation tree so we will have total n factorial permutation and for each we are this we are copying from here in arrays to the, the list so that will be n times so this the time complexity of this solution will become so the time complexity is o of n into n factorial and the space complexity is so space complexity is o of n factorial so that's it so you can also try other backtracking problem which i have already published the video solution on my channel and you can find it in the all the important top interview question in the top interview playlist so that's it if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching